So you do fancy a girl, but find yourself unable to woo, said Tamsla. Oh, you haven't! But you want to be prepared for your next encounter with a female, or whatever kind. Well, it's your lucky day, mate. Good old Jack might have a few tricks up his sleeve to help you. Get ready for three tips on how to flirt like Sparrow. Sevy, number one, be a fancy lad. When it comes to female attention, the first impression will always be the exterior one, by which I mean your exteriority. This means if you look like every other mate in the port, you'll probably not stand out to me. And there are a lot of mates who look like every other mate in the port, but that's exactly your chance. Buckle up your best belt at a special shirt or west. Be your hair in a different style or get some dirt in your face. If you're shy, start with small changes. Number two, be thy will. Me, not you. But you said my name. I did, but I said he'd better use his own will. Did you just refer to his, um, let's rephrase it. Number two, be willing to live up to thy will, which is not your little thingy without being Will Turner in order to have your Will Turner. That still sounds quite so <laughs> What's the one thing that makes a pirate interesting? It's what you want. Whatever you want. But you have to want it. Remember the last lady you were attracted to. Was she a willless, uninquisitive doll? Or was she rather a burning example of a woman who wanted something? Exactly. If you want to be interesting, you need to be interested in yourself, mate. Being interesting is about finding out what your free will is and living up to it. Whatever it might be. So grab your will with both hands and go for it. That sounds so wrong. <laughs> wrong. <laughs> Number three. Balance your sword. If the curtain of a dame is your fight, you better bring your best weaponry. Your sword play will be the metaphor for our amorous play. Always have both feet steady on the ground and grip your hilt firmly. This means being confident, trustworthy, and always able to take in some flirtatious blows without getting off balance, but also attack when the opportune moment arrives. A choke or a little teasing here and there are fun and interesting indeed for the ladies, but only if you balance it well. If you strike a trustworthy figure and are too cautious, things might get boring easily. But if you're constantly teasing a damsel into distress, she will definitely slap you. And you might have deserved that one. The balanced use of your sword ensures the good fencing for both of you, which we call flirting. Bonus tip. Pick up lines. I have a compass that always points towards the thingy my heart desires most. Care to ask why I'm talking to you, milady? Scratch it. I'm fond of pickup lines, but I don't care for prepared pickup lines. A little sorry. One time in Tortuga, I was talking to a woman. Her name was something with M and R and I and this honestly I don't really know anymore. But it was exactly the point. Shortly after our talk, I went back to her, but I had forgotten her name. But I did remember some of the letters of her name. Thus, I told her, I'm dearly sorry, Missy. But I seem to have forgotten the exact combination I need to put the letters of your name into to get your name. Her face lit up and she said something like, That's the sweetest pickup line I've heard in a long time. The incidences like this happen naturally to you if you just take the aforementioned advice and take it to heart, mate. It will say something that is just to you. And she will probably find it funny or savvy. Savvy? One last one. Always try to flirt from your heart, mate, and not from your little willy. Dash! Ooh.